My name is Stefan, and I would just like to uh, share with you guys, share with all of you that are going to be watching this video some of the most magical things I've experienced in my life. And I'd like to introduce to you my dear friend and brother Malku. He has been our spiritual guide for the last 10 days in the Andes. We have traveled to the Sacred Valley, performed ceremonies at some of the most amazing power places and sacred temples. We've been to Machu Picchu, and we have just recently finished a most magical expedition to the island of Am Amantani, which is located in the middle of Lake Titicaca. Today is Equinox Day, and this morning we were up very early and we hiked to the sacred temples of the Divine Male and Divine Female with our intention to embrace harmony between the male and the female and for us to embrace our power in a sacred way with sweetness and to in the basically the purpose of our whole journey is to re-embrace the master path in our lives and I would like to at this point ask Malku, Malku to share with us his views and, and what he knows about this sacred path. Malku? Well, uh, thanks a lot Stefan for uh, joining us in this opportunity and sharing something of the magical world of the Andes. Uh, when we are in power places uh, we don't have no other way that, uh, to be in touch with the magic of the centers. And uh, those centers are touching us deeply into our heart, into our brain. And uh, the only purpose for all that uh, is to discover a little more of our own power and uh, uh, going through the master path, uh, which all of us, we have uh, our master path. Uh, but this question of uh, being aware, developing, uh, working with uh, Pachamama, with Viracocha and Pachacamac, uh, in order to go deeply into ourselves. Uh, so all the sacred sites that exist in the Andes are still awake. For more than a millennium they are active and they will continue active for how long more that will be the decision of Pachamama, Mother Earth, uh, Wiracocha and Pachacamaca. But since we have the chances to go to those places, uh, uh, we are performing uh, ceremonies and we are entering into the meaning of the places with the only purpose to develop uh, our heart uh, into the fulfillment to understand uh, who we are really and what uh, we have to do in our planet uh, to discovering our mission. So there is a beautiful message coming from this island that you have behind, uh, which is the only place uh, in the entire Andes where the masters from the Princa time, uh, they construct uh, two temples, honoring uh, the divine uh, polarity, which is the male and the female, and uh, in the top of this island, they created one temple honoring Pachamama, which is Mother Earth. And in the other hill of the same island, they uh, constructed another temple uh, named Pachatata, which is the male, the divine male. In fact, uh, Pachamama is our Mother Earth, uh, and there is an energy which is coming to fertilize this Pachamama, and this is Pachatata energy. And it's the only place in the entire Andes which uh, these temples are still alive, uh, and we came uh, uh, in the time of the equinox uh, to honor what represents balance, fertility, with the only intention to awake people into their master path, uh, which is higher than anything else, uh, uh, where people they can uh, be aware and following the process of their own initiations and to be in touch with Pachamama, because this is our mother who is holding us, embracing us and giving the opportunities to grow. And this is about life, is to grow, to maintain harmony, equilibrium, and to work, uh, to have peace in the world. So from this island, we are sending this love and this energy, this light, uh, this power, and the sweetness which is coming together to the world. So if you have the opportunity to come to the Andes, don't uh, forget uh, of this lovely place, which is Amandani Island, Lake Titicaca, which in the Andean uh, knowledge uh, represents the female pool of the planet. Uh, and everything which radiates here goes into the female energy and for sure that we have to learn a little more about that uh, because uh, uh, we deserve uh, that uh, powerful energy from uh, the feminine world in order to balance what uh, the male energy was doing in our planet for almost 2000 years. So it's our responsibility now to be awake into that and this place offers to us uh, this opportunity. So why not to come to take it? Uh, so from Lady Titicaca, be welcome in any time 
that uh, the universe can offer to you this opportunity. Malku, can you explain a little bit to us, you know, because this really is not a tour through the Andes, this is a spiritual journey for us to awaken to our, th to our true potential as human beings. Can you elaborate a little bit about our journeys through the Sacred Valley and Machu Picchu? Well, here in the Andes, uh, because you travel, most of people probably they will uh, put everybody in the same understanding, saying, oh, those are tourists. But in fact, uh, you know deeply inside of you that uh, you are not uh, uh, coming here to do a regular uh, journey as a tourism, because it's not, in fact, uh, that. Uh, what people they are doing here related to these uh, power places are a journey uh, with the spirit, uh, a sacred journey which can provoke a magic uh, for changing and all that. Uh, uh, we will call, you know, the path of pilgrimage. Uh, not because uh, people they are receiving continuous confrontations, no, it's because they will learn a little more about uh, their essence, uh, their strength, uh, their vision, and uh, this will help to change their lives. So it's not a simple uh, travel, saying like that, absolutely not. Uh, most of the time when we travel to the power places, uh, what we do is that uh, uh, celebrate and honoring and enter into ceremony and in most of those places that we visit uh, normally we don't have so much so many visitors because uh, are not uh, uh, in the energy for tourism uh, just that uh, those are maintained for people who want to perform something else and uh, who wants to unite uh, their power their vision to manifest something higher so this is an invitation for a different kind of journey the sacred activity that happens in the power places and we're still allowed to to go through those places and to connect uh, deeply and to understand about the symbols to understand about the master path uh, which was the path of the ancient Andean people and also the path of the Incas so we're still doing that uh, somehow and uh, this is changing the life of people so if you have the opportunity to come joining into these journeys for sure that your life will change, then this is the invitation. Please so tell us a little bit more of your understanding of the Master Path. The, the, the Andes uh, is the land of power, and that was for a uh, million years, or, uh, where the Andean society developed a lot of things. They conquered the right to have a life in equilibrium, they conquered the right uh, to have a quality of life, and in the quality of life you have to balance your heart and your brain. So the Andean people, when they conquered that tribe, they became the masters. And their creations, as many of the temples at the sacred valley of the Incas, many of the areas in Machu Picchu and around Machu Picchu, near Cusco, as Sacsayhuaman and some other power places, and also in Lake Titicaca, are the witness of uh, which kind of people were uh, creating those centers, which is uh, uh, the evidence of the master path, which means the balance of uh, everything in your life uh, and the connection between your heart and your brain which means uh, that you cannot live with emotions only and you can't live uh, also with uh, the brain only you have to do both together in this existence and that is making your life being in quality that's making your life to to be in balance and if you are in balance then you can go everywhere so the ancient centers here in the Andes are teaching us about uh, this balance and uh, now we are learning a lot uh, even if uh, we are uh, in a society which is pushing us here and there and uh, not giving to us uh, confidence uh, and satisfaction the power places are teaching about that and so we are grateful to have the chance to to do that and uh, the places are still alive uh, and we still have opportunities to enter into those places and to understand really what is the master path uh, which goes beyond everything and the master path is conquering yourself uh, it's activating your heart and your brain and to become uh, the powerful being preserving the essence of the power which is sweetness and then uh, you will use uh, a lot of elements in your life uh, so the invitation is to come to discover a little more of that and for sure this this land will change your life sometimes in our process we use the power plants, in this case, uh, Hwashuma. Can you explain a little bit of what that's about? Well, the masters in their process uh, to understand nature, they discover different qualities of uh, different elements uh, 
from nature, and if we are talking in relation to plants, uh, they uh, really understood that, that the combination of some plants with others will produce a result. And as a result was the activation of uh, our uh, uh, glands, uh, the activation of our brain, our heart, and all that. Uh, so power plants are very interesting because that aspect are teachers. And uh, I am formed in uh, the use of Wachuma, which is uh, a plant, a cactus uh, from the coast and from the mountains. And uh, I work into that. Uh, so we had some opportunities uh, to experience, experience in that. Uh, and uh, the main uh, aspect of all that uh, is to teach about uh, uh, sweetness, uh, about confidence, uh, about uh, becoming yourself into your master path, uh, and to go more into beauty and in developing your own art uh, uh, vision, uh, because uh, all those aspects will make uh, your life uh, more uh, uh, confident and nice, secure and lovely. So the power plants uh, are into that energy. But of course, we don't have to become dependent of that. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, the master plants uh, are coming to teach you that uh, the, you are the one, that uh, you are the being that uh, have all the tools inside of you. And the base for all that will be learn about meditation. So the power plants, uh, they have to guide you into meditation. And you will not become dependent of that. Uh, so be careful with this. Uh, uh, do not misunderstand that. Uh, it's just a tool that comes to your life. Thank you, brother. Welcome.